All right, Group Captain V. N. Jha, former Joint Director, DRDO, Senior Scientist with us on the program. Major General G. G. Dvedi, Global Strategic Affairs Expert, also joins us on the program. Major General Shashi Astana, former Additional DG Infantry, Global and Def uh, Defense Expert, also with us on the program. Last but not the least, uh, Major Mohammad Ali Shah, Defense Expert, is with us on the show as well. General Major Mohammad Ali Shah, the idea is to, you know, uh, take up this space and, you know, also make a profit uh, out of, uh, you know, these exports. And not to forget, you know, the, the uh, clout that India is going to have with countries that have always depended on, say, a France or a US or a Russia for the defense imports are going to be having a new partner. And that's, of course, going to reflect in more ways than one in the Indian economy also. Absolutely, Vineet. Vineet, firstly, I must, I have to, I can't help but complimenting you on your understanding and your knowledge about the defense sector because, you know, we are from the forces over here, the panelists over here, you being from a non-armed force background and you know so much it's comment really commendable now thank you on that note Vineet, i'll tell you i just before i came live with you a friend of mine called up just now and i said i have to go live with Vineet just now and i have to speak on the defense corridor and on the up or the, the uh defense uh corridors coming up there the chief minister the inaugurated it today you'll be surprised to know that the person from the non-military background did not know what a defense corridor means did not know what MSC is. So firstly, since my senior officers, uh, uh, they, they gave very good information, very good inputs, I would just simplify it slightly for those people who are from a non-defense background. Firstly, as we all know, we all would be knowing what MSC is, the, the micro uh, uh, and the uh, the medium and small scale uh, enterprise, right? now. Why is it called a defense corridor first? What do people understand by a corridor? In a house, a corridor would link you from your bedroom, perhaps, to your drawing room. Similarly, like in UP, Kanpur, Lucknow, Aligarh, that belt, it links. If we are so we would have, we would procure the raw material from somewhere, we would assemble it somewhere. So they would be, it, it can get very tricky. Now, it will all going to be the connectivity is very, very good. Similarly, I've given the example of a house like this for people to understand. Secondly, now this entire 500 acre of land in UP where this whole plant, is, this whole uh, formation is going to come up. Sometime back, if you remember, our, our defense minister Mr. Rajdhan Singh had said, we want India not just to make in India or for make for India. We want India to make for the world. As you rightly said, there was a time when India was in awe and used to watch nations like Israel, Russia, they would manage us they would manufacture and they would send to the world today we are in a position Atanirbar bharat we are making india we are in a position we are actually exporting military equipment to nations like philippines and other nations as well i would like to quickly quote uh, mr ashish Ran rajwanshi he is the ceo of the adani defense and aerospace what he said was with a planned investment of over rupees 300 crores it is an impact, its impact extends far beyond the defense sector. It will create over 4,000 jobs with five times the multiplier effect on MSMEs, which I just mentioned about the micro and the medium uh, scale enterprises and the local eco ecosystem benefiting from it indirectly. We are committed to ensuring that our efforts are inclusive and sustainable fostering growth while preserving the environment for generations to come. So this is a major, major boost. Now UP, which is, uh, I would call it, the, it, we all know it's the fourth largest state in the country with both of third highest in economy in the country with over 200 million population. It's a step towards Atmanismal Bharat, towards employment. And one of my important point, go Zameen, you are enemy. It was barren land which was not being made to good use. I think it's a great idea. We have a similar defense corridor in Tamil Nadu. Now we have a defense corridor in UP. So most certainly it's something I would like to congratulate. And, and I would like to conclude by saying our chief of the army staff, General Manoj Pandey, gave a brilliant uh, statement, brilliant uh, talk about this uh, inauguration. So I commend the entire defense sector for this brief. All right. Ali, 10 seconds. Right. You know, as our Chief Minister, the UP Chief Minister, Rokia Adhinath rightly said that, you know, it's heartening to see that within 18 months 
of uh, the of of uh, procurement of the land and commencement of this project in the way on the fast track it's going and we also heard uh, our chief uh, of the army staff general manoj pandey say such large investments and the willingness of adani defense and aerospace to indigenize critical technologies have built confidence in the users to depend on indian private industry for strategic military supplies this itself is a uh, goes a long way to boost the morale of the country and i would like to conclude by saying the complex is a major milestone in india's journey towards self reliance in the defense sector in absolutely and uh, you know this is a big game changer it's a transformation it's also a pledge that the modi government has made of uh, transforming performing and reforming as well and it falls under that ambit and it obviously has the potential and the propensity to take india to newer heights when it comes to uh, you know a global power would like to thank all my guests for being a part of this wonderful conversation